yeah. <laughs> tired, man. Well, I'm not tired in the sense. I was tired, man. I've been up, actually. I've been up since uh, four. Technically, I got up. Everybody. Welcome back to another Lockout Men's Travels video. I'm over here at the Loves at the end part of Indiana heading into Ohio to drop this load today. I picked this load up on Friday and my fleet manager gave me a couple of loads to do in Illinois. Then I hooked back up under it yesterday and now I'm bringing it to the uh, receiver co-signee right now you guys know how i do it i came out did my pre-trip and everything and now i'm about ready to go but before i get up and go you know what i do i scroll through facebook i watch youtube i go through instagram today i'm going through facebook and i see a comment a post that was made in black CDL hole. This post come from Corey right here. And it reads, today is finally the day I make the leap. I've tried getting my CDLs through truckers I knew, but it never worked out. I've decided to contract with a company that will train me and hire me even though the wages are very unfair question which one did you start out with if any and which ones do you recommend the ones with no hair tests meaning no hair follicle tests i'm about to apply to snyder cr england rail and swift Please give me any advice as I am probably the earliest in this mission to obtain CDLs. Thank you in advance. This post had generated over 36 comments. Mama used to say, take your time, young man. Mama used to say, don't you rush to get old. Mama used to say. First thing first, Corey, I'm about to tell you right quick, all right? Go ahead, check out Lockout Men Makes the Call uh, video series. Season one and season two is in post now. Um, I did make a call to three of the four companies that you signed, that you try to consider. Go back and watch those videos of the calls that I had the conversation with those uh, recruiters. Maybe that would give you um, a better understanding in your decision process on which company that you want to go with as far as going with a company that will train you uh, to get your CDL. That's the first thing I wanted to say. The second thing is, is that to answer your question, um which one did i start out with i i decided to go through truck driving school um i in my in the beginning of my truck driving career i thought about going to like trucking companies and getting my cdls through them i thought it would be like a cheap inexpensive way to save some money and I thought that I can, you know, get my CDLs and drive for the company that I was getting it, I mean, getting my CDLs for. But after doing a little bit of research on a few companies, I decided to just pay for my CDL. Some of these companies require you to take out a contract with them for at least a year to a year and a half to maybe two years to pay back the tuition that 
they pay for 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 you to get your license. It's a shit show. All right, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna throw it out. If you work for them, you get to keep your license. You get to keep a job, but they treat you like shit. All right. In the beginning, you're gonna get all these hours. You're gonna get the accolades. You're gonna get this. You're gonna get that. But later down the line, you're gonna realize that they're gonna start taking the mile money, start paying you low. It's not gonna be worth it. You know, to to spend all that time with the company just because they play they pay for your tuition to go to school. Now look, I know that some of you guys out here don't have the money. You know, five, six thousand dollars is a lot of money to come by. When I wanted to get into this game years ago, I didn't have the money. So, you know, you you had to do what you have to do to get into it. But later down the line, I grind, I saved, I, I move, you know what I'm saying? Make power moves and stuff like that. And I saved up my money to get what I wanted. So that's my suggestion. First, try to, you know, go to school. You know, try the grants. Try to try to get uh loans if you can. Cause if you get a loan, in my opinion, it would probably be better to pay off the loan than work for a company that's gonna treat you like shit just to pay off the tuition that they pay, all right? Your next question, uh, which ones do I recommend? Um, if I was to recommend any company out here to train, to train you and they'll pay for it, I'm honestly gonna have to go with Prime. I mean, Prime is just, it's just better. You know what I'm saying? The start and pay is good. They they treat their drivers good. Um, I, I haven't heard that many complaints from Prime as far as people getting their uh, CDLs. As a matter of fact, I call Prime. So make sure you check that out as well. Now listen, not everybody is going to do the hair follicle test. You know what I'm saying? But majority of these companies do. Uh, what you have to do is call them up and find out. I'm about to tell you right now, brother man. Just be clean. If you if you smoke or drink or did whatever you did within the last week or the last month, I would suggest wholeheartedly that you wait at least 60 days to a company that you that you want to be interested in going to I I would suggest 60 days to make sure all of that stuff is flushed out of your system now I'm not sure about the hair follicle though they they say that that lasts a little bit longer I guess what you guys think what kind of advice you guys can give this young man, Corey, about um, him making a leap into CDL them? All right, getting out here driving these trucks. Leave your comments in the comments below, all right? And let's help this man out to make the decision, the proper decision, so that not only that he can enjoy what he's doing, but also make money while he's at it. Instead of getting with one of them companies that's just going to treat him like like garbage and just work his ass off without none of the payouts. Guys, thank you for joining me for this uh, quick Facebook Q&A. Um, guys, there's a link in the description and a link in the comment that, uh, that will help me get some coffee. All right? I'm thirsty out here. All right? All right, so guys, thank you for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe, like, all that good stuff. That's my first time coming back saying that stuff, but you guys know what I mean, all right? 
I'll holler at you guys later, and I'll check you out in another video. Peace.